first place. They're in first place. That's right. At 53.3. What? Who said they were disappointed in our horse? I think I think I took Phoenix, didn't I? Up front. <laughs> I hope there's no reviews by the officials on this one because I'm afraid Dan may have been a little bit over that mark. I'm not sure. Well, all I'm going to say is this is a shot. He didn't, like, heave it up there. This was a regular, like, he was coming down off the break as Mr. Bad Boy himself, Bill Lambeer. Can't believe he, they just got trumped. Marley hit two of those in pregame warm-ups as we were sitting here watching. So, man, that, that was his shot, and he was ready to knock it in, which he did, and hoisting his team up into first place. Well, I didn't know you were All keeping Detroit. stats over here as they were warming up. Very nice, okay, Kel. Reggie, this is my job. Okay. okay this, this is my job. Here, Reggie, okay, here are the defending champions, the San Antonio Spurs and, with the Admiral David Robinson. And this was surprising last year when they won because I couldn't believe, especially you would think David Robinson would have been in better shape, but they made shots when they had to. Also out there is... Becky Hammond from the Silver Stars, a four-time WNBA All-Star. She can play. And, and course, she can shoot. Yes, she can. And three-time finals MVP, Tim Duncan. There, she knocks it in. They're, they're moving well. And this is what, I, see, this is what surprised me last year. I don't know if it was the Admiral David Robinson or Becky who knocked down the shot, but they definitely put the pressure on the field. Oh. I, I remember handicapping him saying this group had no chance last year because of Robinson and Duncan on it, and then all of a sudden they make the long one quickly, too. Duncan's come close, and here's Becky Hammond, who's been off. And Tim now Duncan. they're worried. Oh. Detroit right now is thinking, we have a shot at the finals. We have a shot. Keep that clock moving. They're in. They're in. They're in. It's going to be Phoenix against Detroit. The Phoenix. defending champ will not repeat. That's it. Time of 106. 106. Bill Lambeer right now is happy. Along with Katie Smith. Good job. Aaron Apollo. You know, it's amazing the age Reggie catches up to you eventually. One more year on David Robinson. Let's see what happens. <laughs> 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 so here it is as we go to the finals Detroit and Phoenix and only uh, you see the time between them six seconds separating those two should be a fun conclusion to the higher shooting stars uh, back in Phoenix the higher shooting stars the team from Detroit and the team from Phoenix our final two, Reggie, it's going to be Detroit shooting first. Would you rather be shooting first or second this uh, final round? I want to put the pressure on who's coming behind me. I wanted to set the benchmark. And the way Bill Lambeer has been shooting with twinkle toes, I kind of want to see if I can get off to a quick start. I, I want to be second because I want to watch how much time you take up, and then I know I don't have to rush. Take my time. All right, let's see. Once again, it's Aaron Aflalo. Bill Lane Beer and Katie Smith, a six-time All-Star in the WNBA. 3-4, the Pistons team, Detroit. Well, Katie's had two go in and come right back out again. Detroit won this back in 2004. They also won back in 2007. Well, Detroit's had a lot of shots go in and out, wasting valuable time. But all it takes is one shot from here. Their first time was 59.3. Here she goes. She's making this one. Twinkle toes, I'm telling you. Bill Lambeer hit the last one for midcourt. That was close by Erna Fallon. And oh, she caught it and they beat it by a second. 58.4. 58.4. That's not a bad time. And like I said, when you go first, you put the pressure on the team that's going to follow you. So, yes, they know what time they need to beat, but if they start missing some of these easy, chippy shots, mentally things can start to build up. I, I think you've got to come out of the gate early. You've got right. to make your first two shots right away. You should take one shot, and then you're, like, way ahead of the game, and they know that they can beat that score. They've already done it. Phoenix won this back in 2005 with Dan Marley part of that team. As you see, Lambeer, Lynn Smith, and a follow. A little bit different pressure, though, for the Phoenix Suns when they won it before. They're the home court advantage exactly. here. Exactly. So they want to perform well in front of uh, their home crowd. 
Tangela there you go. There it is. Yep. Two, two for two right away. Three for oh. three. There you go. They're listening. Now Barbosa. Oh. And he knocked it in. How yep. about that first place guy? Five for five. Well, this would be a shame if they end up losing this. Going five for five and not being able to knock it down. They got so much time right now. Oh. Yes, they do. But if I'm Detroit, you're worried. I would be worried. You're worried. That's Until right. it gets to the 45 second mark. There it is. Ooh. Still looking good. Plenty of time. Oh. In and out by Barbosa. Oh, oh Marley Thunder thought he had it. Now I'm worried a little bit. Oh, now you're worried, huh? The I took the 45 second mark. The time they got to beat is 58.4. Oh, if I'm Detroit, they're taking it back. Detroit oh, basketball Barbosa is going is back to the Palace of Auburn Hills. And Detroit's got it. You know what? I had Detroit down, too. <laughs> I know you did, Mike. You I, told me that today. I crossed them out. Golly. All right, throw in the white flag here. I'm furious. They there finally we go. got it, 115. Oh. So Detroit has won again. Phoenix is one of 22 from three. I need to go talk to Dan Marlin. Dan played for me in Cleveland. I've got to talk to him. Look at Twinkle Toes. He's like, we did it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like I was walking on hot cold, but we're taking home the trophy. So Detroit's winning time is 58.4. The trio of Aflalo, Lambeer, and Katie Smith from the Detroit Shock. And it was Bill Lambeer. To me, the, the original and Mr. Bad Boy of all the bad boys. Rick Mahorn, Isaiah Thomas. James Edward, there was one man that stood alone, and that was Bill Lambeer. I don't know if they got Vinnie Johnson in this. Uh, that'd be kind of fun to see him, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. The microwave, yes. we know he can heat up quick from all over the floor. Slide back one. That was exciting. That was fun. All right, to watch. congratulations. Congratulations to Team Detroit. And I'm going to start with Katie Smith and Katie. You are coming off a gold medal in Beijing, a WNBA championship, MVP finals. How easy is this one? This was hard. I had to sweat <laughs> that one out. <laughs> well, Bill, you're no stranger. This is the second time that Detroit has won this. Where would you rank this time? Well, you know, if Phoenix made first five shots, if they had made that sixth one, that would have been something spectacular. But, hey, we'll take it. Well, we'll take it from a Bruin as well, right? Yeah, just to echo what Bill said, Phoenix did a great job. Uh, had a couple veterans here, then we really did a good job. All right, congratulations again. Now presenting the award to you guys will be Richard Block, the VP of Marketing for Hire America. Coming up, it's the PlayStation Skills Challenge. There will be a first-time